There you go. Welcome back, week number 11, guys. Alright, so this week we have quite a bit to do. I want to get the enclosure for the fridge done. But the first thing we're starting out this week with is repairing the diesel leak. Alright, so um, completely disregard everything I just said. We're not doing the uh, fuel line today because the part that we ordered online doesn't have the same size thread. It's the right part, wrong thread. So for right now though, I'm just going to do whatever else I want to do. Now that those holes are cut out, water, shore power, since we can't repair the diesel right now, the next thing I want to do is make the enclosure for the refrigerator. I'm going to go grab it so I can kind of figure out the spacing, but the refrigerator takes up a portion of this wheel well, and then there's going to be a portion left over and we're going to make cabinetry here. When I bought the fridge, it had this little bend, which is kind of annoying. I have to bend it back, it's just a little annoying, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to complain about it. Basically though, this is what I'm thinking. There's going to be a little countertop here on top to put some extra stuff. And then over here, I'm going to cut it down and then we're going to have all this extra space here. I think that would be really helpful just for extra storage. Honestly, <laughs> that might have actually just fixed the whole problem. So, it's a new day. Uh, yesterday it ended up getting too late, too dark. But I did pick up some 2 by 2s for framing. I also got a pocket hole jig. I'm gonna go ahead and just get into work. We're building this enclosure today. Looks like I can never shake this rain, man. I'm gonna put this cross section on the top just to finish up this piece of the frame. It looks like it might have stopped raining a little bit, so I'm gonna probably head back out in a couple of minutes. So the box for this is done. This extra space here, I'm gonna build out a small extra little shelf for another cabinet. We're not sure what we're gonna put there yet. <laughs> Bella's here, she's helping me with a little bit of like design features and stuff. I finished this up, this whole thing, the enclosure's built. So the first actual piece of the bus is built. That's great. <laughs> that was a pretty successful morning and afternoon. I'm not sure what else we're gonna get into. We might go to Marshall's and check out some cool little things that we can buy for the bus. We're starting to kind of think about how to decorate too. We got some stuff while we were out. We got um, this broom, first of all, beautiful broom. And we got some plastic plates and bowls that we really liked. They're uh, this nice gray color. So Matt and I went to Lowe's a, like a far away one because we finally found the flooring. 45 minutes. We found the flooring at a different Lowe's, so we're like, gotta get it before anybody else does. And it wasn't there when we got here, so now we're waiting for the associate to help and hopefully they find it. We're just at the far away Lowe's. They didn't have the floor that we came all the way there for. Of course, it was the it. one they couldn't find, even though the website said that they had it in stock, so they had 29 like, boxes of it and they didn't, they couldn't find find it to the Home Depot in our town and the one that we were gonna get the super cheap one it was like a dollar something per square whatever that square one foot, yeah. looks completely different online and we don't trust it so we decided to go with a bluegrass maple trail maple yeah bluegrass trail maple from Lowe's also the most expensive one out of all of them but it is the prettiest one and we do like that one so I'm gonna go ahead and buy uh, like I, th I think I'm gonna buy five or six boxes, so it is what it is, but... Can't not have a floor. We gotta have the floor, and I think we're gonna be very happy with this floor, so at least that's exciting. I'm just gonna build 
and take it out and then put the floor in and then screw it into the new floor when it comes in. So I went to Lowe's this morning. I got a bunch of two by twos. I got some one by threes. We're gonna build the bench that pulls out into a slat bed that also lifts up so there's plenty of storage underneath. I am not a carpenter. I have no carpentry skills. I have no construction skills. So uh, this should be interesting. Team thumbs up to there. Trying to get some straight two by twos is one of the hardest tasks. Another little fun trick that I've been doing, I did it when I built the enclosure for that. I label each of the pieces by number so I know exactly what it's for. So for the length pieces, all four of them, labeling them number one. And then for the, uh, the width pieces, I'll label those number two. Well, I'm starting to feel a few drizzles out here. I'm gonna put everything in the bus and try and continue working from inside the bus. This three quarter inch piece, this is the piece that the hinge is gonna go on top. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I have it figured out, but before I go any further, I'm gonna take these clamps off and make sure I have it figured out. I'm so hungry and I'm very thirsty. I need to go inside. I'm gonna take a break. I might just call it a day. I don't wanna end my day not having this figured out. Bella's gonna come over in a little bit. So with Bella's mind power and watching the video of the guy doing it like probably 10 times or more, we think we finally have it figured out and we're gonna have to put another two by two that goes underneath. The boards that don't slide out get attached to that third two by two. At least it goes up. Problem is now it won't slide out. Um, turns out we had it right the very first time. They just stick really, really bad right now. Sand everything down, make it a little bit nicer. And then the bench bed pull out thing is complete. Thank, thank God. Thank God. I helped a lot. <laughs> he did so much. <laughs> Yesterday was quite a long day. Kind of losing my mind by the end of the night last night, but we finally got it to work. I need to sand down some of these slats so they fit over the one edge. That's pretty much gonna be the mission for today. For these slats here on the bottoms, I'm upgrading to an orbital sander instead. That is going to call it a week, and that is going to call it a video. Before I end the video, I announced last week that I have a Spotify playlist for all the music that I use in all of my videos. It's called Bus Stop Bops, the first link in the description. Make sure you follow it, check out the music, add it to your playlist. If you haven't already though, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading every single week. Leave a like, drop a comment, let me know what you thought. And without further ado guys, <laughs> I'll catch you guys next week. Peace. Taking steps